The Gateway program is a huge project worth $16 billion. It's going to revamp the train line between Newark, New Jersey, and New York City in a big way. The plan is to add new tracks, build new tunnels under the Hudson River, and improve the old train system. This will allow trains to carry more people and go faster. The Gateway program is a huge breakthrough, not just a small update. It's especially important because the old tunnels were damaged by Hurricane Sandy, so fixing and improving them is necessary. People are excited to see how this project will make travel and business better in this important area. They're also wondering if it will be successful. But before we jump into the details, please remember to like, share and subscribe to Ultimate Mega Builds for more awesome videos. The story starts with a big issue. The Northeast Corridor, the busiest train line in the US, was too full. This line is very crucial for people traveling to New York and for moving goods around, but it was old and couldn't handle more trains. Its tunnels, which are over a hundred years old, were another issue. In 2012, Hurricane Sandy hit the area hard, flooding the tunnels with salt water and damaging the electrical systems, tracks, and signals. This disaster showed just how much the train line needed to be fixed and updated. To tackle this, the Gateway program was introduced as a new plan to improve travel across the Hudson River. This plan came out in 2011, right after another similar project was stopped. The Gateway program was created to fix all the issues with the train corridor. It had plans to build new rail bridges in New Jersey's meadows, new tunnels under Bergen Hill and the Hudson River, fix up the old 1910 tunnel, and make New York's Penn Station bigger. The current train line, with its two tracks, could only let 24 trains pass through each hour, which wasn't enough for all the people and goods moving between New York and New Jersey. The Gateway program aims to fix the old tunnels and allow more trains to run, which would help more people travel faster and boost the area's economy for years to come. Even though it was hard to get the money and support for this big project at first, the damage from Hurricane Sandy showed how important it was. This led to federal and state support by 2021. The program received the green light from the federal government and is set to cost about $16.1 billion. This is a big step in changing the Northeast Corridor for the better. The building phase of the Gateway program is a great example of how modern construction works. It uses new ideas, careful planning, and looks to the future. Each part of the program is a move toward making the corridor more connected and work more efficiently. The main focus is building new train tunnels under the Hudson River. This job is enormous, not just in size, but also in the engineering problems it has to solve. The work starts with tunnel boring machines, or TBMs, which are amazing pieces of technology that dig through the ground with great accuracy. These machines use the latest tech to get through different kinds of ground under the river, making sure the tunnel route is convenient and safe. Building these tunnels needs a lot of careful watching to make sure everything goes right. The tunnel boring machines are controlled by advanced GPS and laser systems, which let operators make real-time changes to dodge obstacles and stay on the right path as they dig through the ground. A pre-made concrete lining is added to keep the new tunnel stable and reliable. Another important part of the Gateway program is replacing the portal bridge, which is known for causing train delays. The new bridge will be taller and won't need to open and close, which means trains won't have to wait for boats and ships and will be able to go through without waiting. It's built to last a long time with strong materials and building methods, making sure trains can keep running smoothly. 
To make things less disruptive, parts of the bridge are made elsewhere and then brought to the site, a smart way to keep trains running while the work is done. There's also a project to move Tonnel Avenue and some utilities to make room for the new tunnel tracks, which needs careful planning to make sure everything fits together. The project is done in stages to keep traffic moving. This includes temporarily moving utilities and roads to make sure people can still get around. This stage also involves a lot of groundwork, such as making sure the land is level, managing water drainage and dealing with stormwater, showing how thorough the project is. The Gateway program also deals with fitting new structures into Manhattan's busy city life, especially expanding Penn Station at Hudson Yards. They're building a special tunnel box to keep enough space for the future tunnel while letting other construction happen above it. This needs very careful engineering to keep both the tunnel and the buildings on top safe. An important goal of the program is to make Penn Station bigger, adding more tracks, places for passengers to wait and entryways. This is crucial because Penn Station is a major choke point on the train line with around 1,300 trains passing through on a typical weekday. Expanding the station is essential to deal with the current crowding and to prepare for more trains that will come with the Gateway program, making travel between New Jersey and New York much easier. The Sawtooth Bridges, known for their unique design, are being replaced with new ones that will have four tracks to fit better with the expanded Northeast Corridor. This change from two tracks will help get rid of congestion on the railway. Alongside this, the Harrison 4th track project will move some tracks and signals to make room for an extra northeast corridor track, which will help the railway carry more trains and passengers. The Gateway program also includes updating the dock bridge over the Passaic River in Newark. Changing this old, movable bridge to a fixed one will cut down on the delays for trains. This bridge, almost 90 years old, will get fixed up so it can keep being an important part of the region's transport network. There's also a new project, the Portal South Bridge, which will add another two-track bridge over the Hackensack River, matching the corridor's four-track standard and easing traffic flow. Improvements at Secaucus Junction are key for the program's growth, and the Bergen Loop will allow a direct train to Penn Station, New York, making travel easier without needing to change trains. To handle more trains, a new New Jersey Transit Storage Yard is planned, which is crucial for managing more trains and supporting the expanded service. The Gateway program is set to transform rail travel in the Northeast, making it faster, more reliable and efficient for lots of people it's a big step forward for travel and infrastructure in America. What do you think about the impact of the Gateway program on America's travel and infrastructure future? Share your views below and don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on notifications for more mega infrastructure updates around the world.